Hey guys, Aaron here from Rebuy going through a quick checkout strategy which will help you increase your conversions and this entails using content blocks to increase conversion rates and brand affinity. So we'll go through a few different strategies over here that are very popular across Shopify Plus stores. If you want to take a look at this in more detail, you can of course take a look at our help documentation which will be linked in the description below. Uh, as well as our checkout extensions setup video. So from a very high level, um, what we're going to do is we're going to use some content blocks to help improve the conversion at this very important stage of the customer journey, which is at that checkout step. And from a very high level, there are a few quick, easy, low lift strategies you can put into place to help improve your conversion rates. So one, you can take a customer review and place that in the checkout to improve conversions. You can also use content blocks to relay any specific brand messaging that you have. So if, you're, if you are a particularly eco-conscious brand, you can show that inside of the checkout. And then finally, we'll go through using content blocks to push a limited time discount code. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll hop into rebuy, and then we're going to go to the checkout extensions on the side navigation and we're going to go ahead and create a new checkout extension and over here what we'll see is we're going to use this content block function so we're going to go ahead and create this and let's say review and social proof great so you see over here we've got this general language block and it says thank you for your order what we can do is we can use the super title so think of this as like heading one subheading and then description so you can kind of see how this is all laid out um, and we're going to make this in the style of a review so ideally your brand has collected some reviews from your customers and we can use something fairly generic over here and then we're going to take this star symbol so i'm at coolsymbol.com just going to copy this star signal and we're going to throw this in the super title five stars and we're going to say Amazing brand. And obviously you can pull these from your actual reviews. Here is a review as to why I overcame my doubt and I'm happy with my purchase. The other nice thing about this is we do actually support emojis as well. So if you wanted to take a look as an example, you know, let's say you wanted to get this heart emoji action happening over here. You go ahead and put that there. So all of these support emoji. I'm going to go ahead and save that. And then I'm going to copy this widget ID by copying this. And I'm going to go to the Shopify checkout editor. And once you're in the Shopify checkout editor, you can hit this button to add an app block. We're going to choose rebuy. And then we can also choose to include this in shop pay as well too. I'm simply going to just paste this widget ID and make it so that we're not hiding the extension. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And then you'll see over here, we can paste this wherever we'd like. So um, now that I've done this here, we can see that it's showing up in this spot underneath the breadcrumb. When I go back to the online store, you can see, boom, we have got this review that is showing up over here. And the same process can be used for relaying brand messaging or pushing a limited time discount code. So again, as an example, let's say we wanted to create another widget for the checkout extensions that was showing the brand messaging in this example. So I'll go to checkout extensions, I'll hit new. Again, we're gonna use a content block we're gonna do Brand messaging over here. We'll just title this widget. Maybe what you're going to want to do here is every purchase plants trees by supporting our brand. You are helping offset carbon emissions. So, so we'll take this, again, we're gonna go ahead and save, copy this widget ID, go to the checkout editor, 
And let's say as an example, I want to add an app block. Again, include it in shop pay. We're not going to hide. And let's say, for example, we want this underneath the shipping information. So you see that over here. So let's go ahead and save and see how that looks. And again, you can just drag and drop and place these wherever you'd like. And then the last example. So let's go back. Let's create a new checkout extension. Content block. We'll call this the time discount code. And maybe over here, we're going to say until 11 31 2023 save 20 by using save 20. so we'll save that put this over here then we'll go back to the checkout editor again we're going to add a block paste the widget id include shop pay And then maybe for this particular one, we're going to want this right above the discount section over here. So again, the placement for these is going to be really important, but as you can see, we've got this right above the discount code box. So ultimately using different content to help drive conversion rates. So let's take a look at the checkout again. We've got social proof over here. We've got incentivizing the customer to convert. Again, limited time offer by using a discount code. And then we've got brand messaging and brand affinity. So there you have it. We have a few examples on how to use these content blocks to increase conversion on your online store and brand affinity. Now you're ready to supercharge your store. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our support team via the in admin chat or support at rebuyengine.com. And of course, any feedback, you can reach out to us at success at rebuyengine.com. Cheers.